How to make a pom-pom from a real fur coat. I just finished a project of making a beautiful bolster out of a fur coat and the customer asked me if I could make some pom-poms from the remaining scraps and I said sure so this is the process this was the test piece this was just a piece of hair tie that I used but obviously if it's going to be used in a hat you don't want something that thick so I used a very thin piece of elastic and what I did was I knotted it at the bottom and then I knot it again pull it tight knot it again and when I go to sew it I'm going to sew right here in the second section so I take a piece of polyfill scrunch it up and I am going to put it on the inside and right here is where I'm going to start the stitches and I'm using a heavy duty thread this thread here is superior thread nylon bonded it is uh, text 70 so it's basically an upholstery or uh, auto uh, sewing so this way when I pull it later it's not going to tear make a knot and now I'm going to go into the center and I'm going to pull it through I'm going to wait for the knot to touch the back and I'm going to keep my finger on the knot until I have enough stitches where I can release it and I'm just going to keep going in and out of the polyfill because I want it to uh, be able to stay on the stuffing so when I go to put it in the pom-pom and they use the elastic it won't pull out so I do this a bunch of times securing it all around then I pull it through the back come in take a stitch and I'm going to wrap the thread around three times two three and I'm gonna pull it down and cut it so now this is the inside of my pom-pom and if I need more I can put more in I then took an old bowl this bowl is five inches round and I am going to mark a circle all the way around then I'm going to take my furrier's knife and I am going to follow along that line that I just drew Now, some people like to uh, put holes all the way around the fur. I really don't. I just use my uh, Glover's needle. It has a triangular point. It is very, very sharp. And now getting ready to do the next part, I'm going to put a knot at the end and I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to start in one spot, go all the way around, and then cinch it tight. So these are the Glover's needles that I use. I use size 3. And I find that I don't need to uh, take an additional step by uh, making holes in the fur. So I'm going to <clears throat> Yep. 
I'm going to take my first stitch and I'm going to stitch about probably about an eighth to a quarter of an inch around the edge and I'm just going to go in and out of the fur and I'm going to pull it out try to leave a little extra out got to make sure that the knot on the end is big enough so that when you pull the string it doesn't come through the fur So now I've reached where the other part of the thread is and I am going to put my fingers in the center and I'm going to start to gently pull on the string. Now it's going to create a pocket in there. So I'm going to take my polyfill and I'm going to put it inside the pocket and I'm going to continue to pull. Now if I notice that there's not enough inside, I'm going to open it up and I'm going to take a little bit more polyfill and I'm going to wrap it around and then I'm going to put it back inside the pom-pom. Again, making sure that I have my thread out, not the thread, the elastic out, and I'm going to continue pulling and this definitely feels like a much nicer size and I'm going to keep that out and I'm going to pull it and now here's the tricky part because the nature of the beast is it's going to want to expand again I'm going to tie it and and you see as I take off the pressure it starts to open up again. So I make my first knot and I'm going to pull it tight or as tight as I can get it without tearing it. There we go. And now I'm going to come in and I'm going to try to hold on to it and I'm going to knot it again. Now I'm going to make a triple knot One, two, and three. Pull that tight. And I'm going to leave this little piece out. And I'm going to make some securing stitches here because there's a tiny little bit of opening there that you might see. Um, but just as a reinforcement, I'm going to put it in one side of the fur and extend it out to the other. Uh, give it a little tug and then I'm going to continue this around until I have about six stitches that are going to secure the sides. The last stitch I'm going to want to kind of get close to the string that's here and that's pretty close so I'm going to make another knot, a single and then a triple. Then I'm going to take my needle and again, I'm going to go through one part of the pom-pom. And insert it one more time.
and I'm going to clip it really close to the fur. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the remaining piece. I usually knot it and then pull it through. And now I'm going to do the same thing again, putting it down into the fur and then push it back in and out the other side. and cut it close. So there it is. So what they're going to do is they're going to use this pom-pom on a hat and they're going to knit the hat and then this part will pull through the top of the hat and get secured on the inside and this will stay on the top. Really great way to repurpose your furs. Alright, hope you enjoyed that. Come visit us at DynasQuilts.com.